This video is going to discuss about the preparation of haloalkin and the chemical reaction of haloalkin. Of course, there are another two mechanisms we need to learn in this topic. Okay, so first we look at the preparation of haloalkin. There are three preparations. The first one you have learned in chapter 5, hydrocarbon, which is free radical substitution of alkane from alkane wrapped with halogen with UV and then produce haloalkin. Okay, please take note. Okay, if the halogen I change to bromine, if the halogen I change to bromine, then that is CH2Cl2 in its solvent with UV. So this is the reaction of alkene with bromine solution. So the reddish brown color of bromine will decolorize. Okay. And then the second one is ah, this is carbon carbon double bond. So electrophilic addition with HCl. So hydrogen ion and chloride ion will be added and then need to follow the Marconical rules. Ah. So this one is the C1 with greater number of hydrogen. That's why hydrogen is added to C1 and then the chlorine is added to C2 because H plus is the nucleophile. Okay, ah. What is Marconical rule? Try recall it again. Okay, and then this one, nucleophilic substitution, the alcohol, okay, will be substituted by the HCl, and then form haloalkene, and then water is the side product. Of course, HCl can be replaced by PCl3, PCl5, or thionyl chloride, thionyl chloride SOCl2. Okay, this one you can learn in detail when you study about chapter 8, alcohol. We go for the next we go for the chemical reaction of haloalkene. There are three. The first one is nucleophilic substitution. Okay, nucleophilic substitution, there are seven types of nucleophile. The first one is hydroxide, which from the strong base, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Okay, and then OH will be substituted with the halogen. Okay, so and then from alcohol. Okay, the second one is ammonia. Okay. Ammonia will substitute with the chloride ion and then form amine. Okay. And then the third one is cyanide from potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide. Okay. It will replace the chloride. The reagent is alcohol and reflux. Okay. So just now one, two, three, these three consider is um can be strong nucleophile. And then water and alcohol is the weak nucleophile. It will form alcohol as well, but when this one, okay, when haloalkene react with alcohol, please take note, uh, we check. Okay, so the bonding is from O attached to the CH3. So that's why the CH3 will be attached with O, CH2, CH3. Alkoxy is formed. Next is the OR negative. Actually, it's referred to the alkoxide ion. Alkoxide ion. When undergo nucleophilic substitution, it will form the ether as well. And then this is carboxylic acid. Actually, it's from it's from carboxylic acid. We call it as um this one is ethanol ion because there are two carbon ethanol ion. When ethanol ion react, react with halalkin, it will form the ester. Check for here, C double bond O C O C. Okay, next the second Second reaction is elimination, which you learn in chapter 5, preparation of alkene. Okay, so haloalkene react with KOH, ethanol, reflux, okay, and form carbon carbon double bond. Okay, number three is free nut reagent. This is something new with you all. Okay, for you all. Rx is the haloalkene react with magnesium with the solvent dry ether. It will form RMGX, which is a green nut reagent. We're using the simplest example, chloromethane react with magnesium. It will form methyl magnesium chloride, okay, which is a green nut reagent. Okay, uh, this one can be anything. Uh, this can be any alkyl group that attached to halogen, okay, can be cyclic compound as well. Uh. Okay. So, based on the green nut reagent, it can form alkene, primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, tertiary alcohol, and carboxylic acid. Depends the reagent. So green nut reagent with methana, 
Okay, it will form primary alcohol. So this is primary alcohol. When green up reagent react with aldehyde except methanol, because just not methanol react with green up from primary alcohol. So any aldehyde can be ethanol, methanol, uh, very ethanol, propanol, right? Um, and then form the secondary alcohol. And then green up reagent react with ketone. In this case, we are using propanol. Okay, actually you can show the C double bond over here. Okay, so you can check, okay, this is propanol. And then form the tertiary alcohol. The last one is when the greener reagent react with carbon dioxide, it can form carboxylic acid, COOH. So this is the carboxylic acid. Okay, you have to learn the mechanism. Okay, question would ask you about mechanism for this chemical reaction. But for your concept, it's very important to know the mechanism. Let's check for this. Okay, if we check for this one, right? Okay, magnesium partially positive, and then this carbon partially negative. Oxygen partially negative, and then this carbon is partially positive. So always remember, the bonding must from negative, okay? From negative to positive. So meaning that the CH2-CH3 bond, okay, is going to attach with the carbon over here. So that's why CH3-CH2 is attached over here. And then the O go to take the MgCl, so that's why from O negative charge and then MgCl. Okay, then the CH3 just remain the same. After that, continue with H3O+. Normally, we write down H3O+, is better. Hydrolyte is. So this part, O, M, G, C, L, will change to alcohol. Okay, since this one is 1, 2, etana. Etana, okay, it will form secondary alcohol. Check, is it secondary alcohol? Okay, you look at this carbon now, which attached to alcohol. So one carbon, two carbon. So that's why it's secondary alcohol is formed. Okay. Same thing happened, okay, but this one is ketone, okay, ketone, propanol. When ketone react with green reagent, it will form tertiary alcohol. Okay, similar thing, but um, depends. If you want to do it step by step, right, okay, you can do it, okay, first react with the carbonyl compound. So this is the first react with the carbonyl compound and then hydrolyze. Or you can straight away from the compound, but this is not the method. By right, right, you have to write like this. So we have to write like this is one Roman, okay, and then so two Roman. Okay, I erase first. Uh. Okay, here is two Roman H3O plus. Okay, then only can form this tertiary alcohol. Okay, madam try to ulang ah. Okay, madam, kalau you nak buat dua step, okay, maksudnya you buat green up reagent, bertindak balas dengan um, nut reagent, bertindak balas dengan carbonyl sebagai step pertama, terhasil lah um, intermediate macam, sebenarnya dia bukan intermediate lah means um, product sementara kat sini ok, lepas tu hydrolyze it, H3O plus menghasilkan alkohol, ataupun you nak terus dari green nut reagent, tapak alkohol pun boleh, dengan syarat macam ozonolysis tuliskan satu roman carbonyl compound and then dua roman H3O Plus, ah, uh, madam look. H3O plus, barulah te tapak tertiary alcohol. Okay, ah, can ah? Okay, okay. After for the secondary or tertiary alcohol, actually we are using the same concept to prepare carboxylic acid. Using the green reagent, red with CO2, and then H3O plus. Okay, we'll form the carboxylic acid. Okay, for certain book, we we'll write like this, H2O slash H plus. Plus, I standardize you all using H3O plus. Uh. Okay, don't be confused. Uh. Okay, so C, initially, okay, this one double bond O. Actually, if make you simple, right, you can write down like this. Okay, you can um, C double bond O over here. Okay, meaning that initially here, the O negative and then Mg uh, Cl positive. And then the C double bond O remain, and then here we attach with the CH2, CH3. Okay, and then this one hydrolyzed will become OH. It actually, it's the same. Huh? Okay, uh, like this. Call big. So, chemical reaction of halokin, there are three nucleophilic substitution, there are seven types of nucleophile. And then the number two is the preparation of alkene or the reaction of halokin to form alkene. 
which is elimination. The reagent is potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide, any base solution in alcohol, reflux, and then form carbon carbon double bond. And then the third one is a green nut reagent. Okay, it's a very useful compound. Why? Because from green nut reagent, it can form alkane, can form primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol, and then can form carboxylic acid. You are going to learn this again for preparation of alcohol because here you can prepare the alcohol and then the preparation of carboxylic acid or the chemical reaction of carbonyl compound because here involve methana, aldehyde, acid methana and ketone. Okay. So now we proceed for the mechanism in this topic. Before we proceed, right, we must know there are two types of mechanism in this topic, which is SN1, unimolecular nucleophilic substitution, and another one is SN2, bimolecular nucleophilic substitution. And then for SN1, involve one step mechanism is first order reaction because the rate of the reaction just depends on the concentration of haloalkane. And then two step mechanism, the stability of the carbocat ion is have to fo we have to focus it. And then it prefers tertiary haloalkane, and then normally involve weak no chlorophyll, for example, water rearrangement might be happen. And then for SN2, okay, involve um, two rate determining step, which is second order, because the rate of the reaction depends on the haloalkane and nucleophile, which only involve one step mechanism. We have to consider for the steric effect. So for this case, prefer a methyl or primary haloalkane. And then normally we use the strong nucleophile, for example, the NIO methoxide, uh, uh, methoxide, hydroxide, okay, and then not possible for rearrangement. Why? Because it only just one step mechanism. Okay, this graph is related the rate of SN1 and SN2 with the class of haloalkane. As I mentioned just now, right, primary um, haloalkane, we go for SN2, one step mechanism. If tertiary haloalkane, we go for SN1, okay, two-step mechanism. Okay, so always remember SN1, tertiary haloalkane, two-step mechanism, one, two, three, yeah? I always get my student remember like this, okay? So this is SN1 with two-step mechanism, okay, prefer tertiary haloalkane. So remember as one, two, three. Okay, SN2, one-step mechanism, prefer primary haloalkane. So this is 2 minus 1 equal to 1. Okay, this is one of the method uh, to remember it. Okay, now we try to compare these two mechanisms. SN1 unimolecular nucleophilic substitution involve two-step mechanism, prefer tertiary haloalkane. SN2 bimolecular nucleophilic substitution, one-step mechanism, prefer primary haloalkane. Okay, we go for SN2 first. SN2, you check, right? Okay, this is the nucleophile. Normally, it's strong nucleophile. Okay, backside attack. Because hydrogen is just a small atom, can easily undergo backside attack. So, that's why the first statement, the nucleophile attack from the back of the electrophilic carbon, opposite of the CX, opposite of the CX. Okay, it's a slow step. So, then, um, OH with the C is bond forming, and then the carbon with the bromide is bond breaking. So, here we consider as transition state. So, involve partial bonding between the attacking nucleophile and the haloalkane. Always remember, have, we have to write down the negative, positive, positive charge. So, backside attack caused the product to have inverse configuration from the original. What means by inverse? You see, initially this one's landed to left, and then this one's landed to right after form the alcohol. So, SN2 reaction are affected by steric factor or steric effect. Eh? And then remember, okay, the bromide ion is a side product and then fast is a very important, eh? slow, fast. Okay, slow, very important, fast, very important, and then the sign over here, and then of course, okay, the arrow here, and then the arrow here, bond forming, bond breaking. Okay, now we go for SN1. SN1, the first step is for carbocat ion. So, this is the bond breaking, okay, and then from, from the tertiary carbocat ion, so please mention, this one is tertiary carbocat ion. Uh. You must label it as tertiary carbocat ion. Uh. It's a slow step. And then step 2, nucleophile attack by methanol. So methanol is a weak nucleophile. So when it forms right, it's a fast step. So the whole thing okay, was attached 
to the carbon cation from O uh, because from O attached to the C. That's why it forms OCH3H. So maximum one for oxygen is two, but here one, two, three. That's why positive charge over here exists. Okay, next followed by deprotonation means you have to take the proton over here to form the product. The product is COC, which is ether. COC, which is ether. And then this one is CH3OH with the protonated methanol again. Okay, again, this is fast step. So if in one weak nucleophile, there are two fast steps. Okay, take note now. If in one weak nucleophile, there are two fast steps. If strong nucleophile, straight away nucleophilic attack. Later, we check some example. Okay, again, now always remember tertiary for SN1, primary for SN2, for normal case. Look at next example. Okay, class, check for this one. Actually, this one is primary haloalkene. Just now I did mention, primary haloalkene supposed to go for SN2. But why this one primary alcohol, why this one primary al uh, haloalkene go for SN1? This circle. Okay, this is big group. Suppose it's this whole group. Uh. This one, two, three, third butyl. This third butyl is high steric effect it's a greater number of alkyl group or bulky group so difficult for backside attack okay that's why it undergo sn1 unimolecular substitution okay the step still the same first one loss of living bromide group to form tertiary carbocation but after it left right slow step it form primary carbocation that's why rearrangement happened to form a more stable carbocation so one two metal shift Meaning that this CH3, this CH3 moved to the carbocation. One is moved to the carbocation. Now the new carbocation is formed. So this one is tertiary carbocation. Yes, tertiary is the most stable carbocation. Then now nucleophile attack. Okay, the carbocation is a sparse step and then form the alcohol. Okay, this is what I mentioned just. This one is sodium hydroxide. So the nucleophile is hydroxide. It's a strong nucleophile. That's why only one fast step. If you refer the example just now, right, there are two fast steps because that one is a weak nucleophile. That's why I have to undergo deprotonation as well. Okay, I hope you all can understand. Huh? So now I just show you some example, uh, the few examples for SN1. Huh? Okay, so this is strong nucleophile and then this one from tertiary carbocation. So that's why step one, okay, move is a slow step, and then from tertiary carbocation must be labeled the tertiary carbocation. So this is the loss of living group of bromide to form carbocation. Huh? So this is a rate determining. Next, nucleophile attack. So nucleophile attack, okay, and then it's a fast step, and then from the product. Okay, only one fast step. Next, okay, with CH3 okay. CH3OK, so first step is still the same, okay, slow step from the carbocation, okay, again, madam have to remind you all must label the class of, label the class of carbocation, so for this case, this one is tertiary carbocation, since you know this is tertiary carbocation, is the most stable one, so rearrangement will be happen, okay, now step 2, okay, so this is the nucleophile attack, so the OCH3 is attacked over here, ether is formed. So remember, slow for the step one, fast for the step. Okay, this example also the same. Okay, um, this one is due to that is a bulky group. Even though this is primary haloalkene, but it still undergo SN one. Okay, again, so leaving of the bromide ion to form the carbocation. This case must label primary carbocation. Huh? And that is a slow step. So for step two, rearrangement happen. Okay, so this metal group move to this to this way. And then now it form a tertiary carbocation. Please, please, please label tertiary carbocation. So when tertiary carbocation is formed, meaning that this is the most stable carbocation. Now, okay, we are using water. Water is a weak nucleophile. Okay, weak nucleophile gold okay, is attached to this carbocation. So in the fast step, so the whole H2O is added, okay, is added to here 
That's why the oxygen with the positive charge because there are three bonding for it. And second fast step. So this is a second fast step again. So removal of this proton. So the water go to take okay from O go to attract the H, and then the bond between the OH is break. So now alcohol is formed and then regenerate the H3O plus. Get it? Again, a strong nucleophile, one fast step. Weak nucleophile, two fast step. Okay, check again. This one, step one still the same. Okay, and then slow step. Please label. This one is the tertiary carbocation. Must label. Uh, so that you know they, uh, there is no rearrangement happen. Uh. Okay, step two, nucleophilic attack. Okay, this is methanol, weak nucleophile as well. Weak nucleophile. So first fast step. Okay, the whole thing, the whole methanol is attached to here. And then the step 3, deprotonation to form product. Okay, so now this one methanol, go to take the H, attract the H, and then the bond between O and H is break, the arrow point to O. Okay, in the first step, now you form the ether, C-O-C, -C, ether is formed. Okay, so this is the byproduct. Okay, for this case, byproduct is not really important, but if you know, you just write down. Okay, most important, you can form the ether. Okay, yeah. meaning that step one. Meaning that step one, right? There is one arrow, must write down slow, and then form the carbocation. So the, these are the three points that you need to remember for step one, loss of living group. Again, leave of the halogen. Can be iodine, chlorine, or bromide. Okay, bromine. Uh, slow step. Form the carbocation. Remember, must label the carbocation. Must label. So, so must label. This one is the tertiary carbocation. Okay. So this step one. Uh, one point. Remember. Two point. Remember. Three point. To remember. Four point. To remember. Step. Okay. So this one is weak nucleophile. That's why there are two fast steps. Okay, so one arrow from oxy from this alcohol, the O from the alcohol point to o, uh, carbocation ion, and then it forms this one. Okay, when it forms this one, right? Remember positive charge on the oxygen atom. Now the second step, okay, again using the same nucleophile, attract the hydrogen atom, and then the bond between OH is break and then point to O. Okay, so there are two arrows, uh, two arrow, and then fast, and then form the ether. Okay, just now is one arrow, fast. Okay, next bimolecular nucleophilic substitution is the red determining step. You want two reactants, one is the haloalkene and another is the nucleophile. That's why this is second order reaction because the rate of the reaction depends on haloalkene and nucleophile, only one step mechanism. So, formation of transition state. This one is the general equation for SN2. Uh, we can say as general mechanism as well nucleophilic attack, backside attack. Okay, and then bond forming for the nucleophile over here. At the same time, bond breaking for the CX. Okay, means the carbon with the halogen. So this is bond breaking. And then it's a slow step. And then you have to label this one as a transition state. Okay, must remember inverted. So meaning that here, okay, three, must draw like three-dimensional, uh, like inertia, uh, slanted to the left. And then here, slanted to the right. Remember, slanted to the right is a fast step. And then must write down the negative, positive, positive charge, okay, for the intermediate state, the transition state, okay. Uh. So these are the few points for the SN2, bimolecular nucleophilic substitution point, nucleophile attack from the back, involved transition state, and then when we draw the reactant and product, right, have to draw like the inverse com configuration from the original, and then affected by steric effect. Okay, so what is steric effect? It's an effect on a relative rate caused by the space filling properties of part of molecule attached at or near to the reacting site. Normally, it depends on the size of atom or group attached to the CX. If large number of alkyl group, we can call it as bulky group, shield the carbon atom in the CX, carbon X, uh, carbon halogen from attack by the incoming nucleophile. That's why it cannot undergo SN2. 
So even though the halokin is primary halokin, if there is bulk, okay, like this, there is a bulky group, okay, even though it is primary halokin, it cannot undergo SN2. So it have to undergo SN1, okay. SN1 normally for tertiary halalkin and the halalkin with high steric effect caused by the greater number of alkyl group or the bulky group because it's difficult to for the backside attack. Okay, that's why I undergo SN1. Okay, SN2 normally go for the low steric effect for the primary halalkin. Okay, always remember. Okay, increasing reactivity of SN2 reaction means the methyl. SN2 one set mechanism, prefer primary. Okay, prefer primary. If there is methyl, it's great. It can straight away undergo SN2. Okay, this is the summary. Yeah? Again, this is the summary of SN2. Always remember backside attack from the nucleophile, backside attack. Okay. And then the bromide ion or the chloride ion or the ionic ion breaking is a slow step. And then this is transition state, must label the transition state. Okay, remember the negative, positive, positive charge, and then it's a fast step. Once it is formed, right? Okay, and then you have to slant it to the uh, here is uh, right side, here slant it to the left side. Okay, yeah? hope you all understand for this topic. Hello, okay, it's an interesting topic.